The question says, what is the interest for the third year if 26,600 is lent out at the rate of interest 11 percentage per annum, the interest being compounded annually? And he says an approximate value. So thank him uh, for asking us to do an approximate calculation. He doesn't know that even otherwise we would have done an approximate calculation only, right? We are not used to doing complete calculations. Anyway, so what is the question? What is the interest for the third year, right? Interest for the third year, if 26,600 is lent out at the rate of interest of 11 percentage per annum, the interest being compounded annually. So principal is given to you, 26,600. The rate of interest is also given to you. How much is that? 11 percentage per annum. Now, the time period here is one year. Let me tell you, time period is not three years. Many of you have taken three years and that is the reason you have got the wrong answer or I would say you are lucky that you have got the right answer but time period is not three years time period is one year and this one year is actually the third year he is not asking us to find out the interest for three years he is asking us to find the interest for the third year that means how much interest would we get only in the third year on such a principle at 11 percentage per annum right remember time period is one year so how do we do it formula of course not we don't use formula for answering such questions let us go by the concept of <coughs> compound interest you know what happens in case of compound interest there is a principal amount 26,600 this principal amount will earn some interest in one year yes or no let's say simple interest compound interest of one year it will get added. Let's say this is P1, principal 1. Then this compound interest of first year, compound interest of first year, when added to the principal amount, added back to the principal amount, we will get the principal of second year. Yes or no? Principal of second year, which is P1 plus CI1. Then on this again, we calculate the Compound interest, compound interest of second year. Remember, compound interest of second year is on the new principle, right? It is on the new principle. This is done in second year. Again, we get the new principle for third year. What is that? P2 plus CI2. So basically, the idea is that principle changes every year, right? This is again very basics of simple and compound interest. In case of compound interest, the principal amount changes every year. Why, why does it change? Here we calculate the interest each year and compound it to the principal. Compound it means we have added back to the principal. So we started with 26,600. At the given rate, we calculated the interest for the first year, added to that principal amount. Now on this new principal amount, again we'll calculate the interest for second year. Again, go and add it to the second year's principal. You'll get the third year's principal and so on. The cycle would continue. We have taken a very simple example in our introduction video of simple and compound interest. You can refer to that to understand this process here. So basically, principal is increasing each year because interest is getting added to the principal amount. <coughs> so how do we solve this? Very simple. In one line, you can say that the answer is going to be as follows. He is asking us to find out the compound interest of third year, right? What is the interest for the third year? So CI of third year, right? Compound interest of third year. How much will we get in third year? How much will we get in third year, CI of third year? We'll get 11 percentage. We'll get 11 percentage of what? 11 percentage of third year's principal. Yes or no? We'll get 11 percentage of third year's principal. Now, what is third year's principal? Understand. See, there was 26,600 rupees which was deposited. In the first year, we will get 11 percentage interest on this. So, 26,600 plus 11 percentage of 26,600. Now, if you understand, P plus 11 percent of P will make it 111 percent of P. Yes or no? This is like 100 percentage of 26,600 plus 11 percentage of 26,600. So this will be equal to what? This will be equal to 111 percentage of 26,600. Yes or no? So basically in the first year, <coughs> 26,600 becomes after first year, 26,600 becomes 111 percentage of 26,600. After second year, this 111 percentage of 26,600 will become, <coughs> sorry, are you able to follow? After second year, what happens? Again, 
we will calculate 11 percentage of this and add it back to it. So instead of calculating 11 percentage and adding 11 percentage again, can I directly say that this is going to be 111 percentage? This is this is P2. What is P3? It is going to be 111 percentage of 111 percentage of 26,600. Right? 111 percentage of 26,600 is the principle of second year. 111 percentage of 111 percentage of 26,600 is the principle of third year. On this, we have to calculate the 11 percentage value, right? So you can say this is equal to 11 percent of 111 percent of 111 percent of 26,600. Calculation is your lookout, you have to do that. Or there are, <coughs> there is one more way of doing it. What you can do is find out the total uh, amount for three years, find out the total amount for two years, subtract these two to get the interest of third year. <coughs> You're able to follow. The other way of doing it is if you don't want to do this, if you don't want to follow this process, then you can go for a different process. What is that? Find out the total amount for three years. Total amount for three years. How do you find out total amount for three years? P into one plus R by hundred whole to the power of T, where T equals to three. Find out the total amount for two years. P into one plus R by hundred whole to the power of T, where T is two years. So basically, the same formula has to be used twice. Once with T equals to three, the other time with T equals to two. Now take the difference of these two. That will give you the interest that is earned in third year. But this also is not going to be very easy, right? This also is going to be time consuming. So this can be done or you can do this, right? Simple, 11% 11 of 111% 11 of 111% of 26,600. Forget about these percentages. I mean, you, you, if you are, you know, well aware of tricks and techniques, you will know that 111 into 111 is 13231. Yes or no? I mean, these are like very fancy stuff, which are like very popular, right? You can say, it is going to be 13231. Now that 13231 you have to multiply with 11 percentage. And then overall you have to take 26,600 as the principal value. So do this calculation and you will get the answer. See approximately if we try and do here, uh, we will be left confused because options are too close. If you see 3277.38, 3277.883. <laughs> Three two eight seven point three eight, three two eight eight point three eight. So in my view, the options are too close to do an approximate calculation. So you either simply skip it because the calculation is complex. The calculation in this case is actually complex. So you either skip it or you have to do this calculation. Right? Answer like most of you have got would come out to be option five. Right? It will be around three thousand. 600 right 3605 approximately right again approximately meaning you have to do the complete calculation not that you will do approximate calculation but this is what you have to do 11 into 111 into 111 into 26600 divided by 300s because there are three percentages right so 300s <coughs> can we do it by effective percentage yes you can do it by effective percentage find out the amount for three years effective percentage find out the amount for two years take the difference of those two and <coughs> apply that percentage on 26600 <coughs> you getting it you can say, I mean, if you want to use effective percentage formula, what do you have to do? Same, instead of finding out amount for three years, find out the component rest for three years. How do you get component rest for three years? 11, 11, 11. There are three 11 percentages. Apply A plus B plus AB by 100. <coughs> right? Apply A plus B plus AB by 100 twice. Then subtract that from the two years component as percentage. 
and whatever value you get here, take that value on 26,600. <coughs> so I hope all of you have followed this. 